and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sabina, if you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. We're nearly on 100K, so I would love it if we could get to 100 as soon as possible. I've been on YouTube for nearly five years, I think. Um, and I kind of get inconsistent sometimes, which is, which is why I feel like the growth hasn't been consistent. But I'm excited that I'm nearly at 100K and I'll finally get my YouTube trophy. Um, so today's video is going to be a vlog. Obviously, I just do weekly vlogs from now on. So I share snippets of what we've been up to during the week with the kids. Um, and then I pop in the beauty and the fashion in there. Um, I just felt like this was a much better way of doing it than I was doing it before. The response to last week's video was really great. You guys really loved it. So thank you so much. Um, if you have any feedback, as always, just leave it down below. I think last week somebody said that the camera was a little bit shaky and I think that's because I was vlogging on my phone. Someone also commented on the audio because I know I go really loud and they're like quite quiet at times. So that is something that's on my mind that I am working for, working on when I'm filming weekly content. So in today's video, I'm gonna start off with a Nasty Girl haul. This is in partnership with Nasty Girl. I picked a few items for their website, which I thought would be great for the weather at the moment. I think it's like 28 degrees outside right now, but it's cloudy. It's been really strange. It's supposed to be 35 tomorrow. Um, I'm filming this on Thursday. I don't think you guys are gonna get to see it till Saturday or Sunday, so we'll see We'll see what happens. But I do have a, a discount code for you guys if you wanna use it on the Nasty Girl website. For the first 48 hours after this, video goes live the code is seb55 and then if you're watching this video after the 10th of august the code will be seb51 and you can get 55 percent off anything on the nasty girl website i will leave links to everything that i try on in this video down below and um, also as part of this vlog i've just done like a little family day we went out shopping it was the first time we went shopping with uh, both the kids because normally when we do the, the grocery shop the weekly shop we either leave Noah or Yahya or both of them with my mum or with Fazan's mum um, it actually went a lot smoother than I was expecting Noah listened to a lot of the things I was saying didn't listen to some but that's that's the second half of this video so I hope you guys enjoy that um, and as always if you have any feedback leave it below and I'll see you all soon well I'll see you in the vlog but sitting down like this I'll see you all soon so for the Nasty Girl haul, what I thought I would do is I would talk through each of the products that I've picked and how I would style them. But I know that a lot of the times when I'm watching YouTube, the boys might distract me or I'm like doing something else and there's a video playing on in the background. So I thought I'll do like a 45 second or a minute montage of me trying on all of the outfits so you guys can see exactly what everything looks like. Um, and then I'll talk through them. That way you only have to focus on the screen for a minute and then if your kids come and distract you or you're doing something else, you can still hear me talking about the products. Um, but it doesn't matter as much if you if you're not concentrating on me the entire time because I know I know what it's like when you're trying to have five minutes to yourself and the boys like can I have this can I have that um, so yeah I'm gonna start off with the montage and then I'll talk through the products. loved a clothes haul as much as this one. I didn't deliberately pick pieces that were similar colours but now that I've got them on the rack and I've tried them on I'm like oh they all look really pretty together it's all really cohesive so I think I might shoot some pictures in them to put on the feed because I think it'll make a really cute Instagram feed. They're all really comfy comfy bits as well. I will talk through them in a minute but I just want to show you a couple of the accessories first. So this one which I'm really excited about is a phone cover. You can just got this little chain so you can literally just pop it over your neck or over your shoulder and um, the chain is detachable as well. So it's got these little clips here. Um, but what else I love about this is it's got this little handle here so you can hold your phone. Um, and it's got a little pocket here for cards as well. So I feel like it's like a three in one, super, super convenient phone case. I've just got a little bit here. It's got a little hoop here as well that you can pop your key, your house key or your car key into. So really, really easy and really, really convenient when you're always on the run like I am. So that's the first accessory. And then I also, got this bag which I really love. 
I have a very, very similar one in white, but my white one doesn't have um, a strap. And actually, although it looks quite nice and bougie for Instagram pictures, holding your bag like that, when you've got like a toddler, <laughs> and like an eight month old at a push yet, not convenient. To be honest, even if I was out and about on my own without the kids, holding it like this just isn't convenient. It's really, really cute. Um, and I love how like it can change up the whole outfit because I feel like it's really classy. Um, but this strap is a lifesaver for me. I think they have it in other colors, I'm not sure. And it's so spacious inside as well. I popped another bag in there just to plump it up for the, the lookbook, but like literally, you can fit so much stuff in there. And then I also got some sandals. I, the ones that I'm wearing right now, let me take them off. I got these ones, which I feel like are the Hermes dupes. I think they also have these in the croc effect. I prefer the plain effect. I love these. I feel like, um, I used to love wearing heels. I still love wearing heels, but it's not always convenient. And sometimes you just want like pretty sandals that are kind of, kind of add a statement to the outfit, especially when it's a simple outfit like this, this dress. So when you guys see this dress, you'll see that I've paired it with the shoes in the bag. And I feel like accessories are so important because they can really change up the whole vibe of, of an outfit. Um, and I think these ones are really pretty. I did order two other pairs of sandals, but let me show you those as well. I feel like these type of sandals are really, really in this year, this summer. Um, I've seen all sorts of crisscrosses and little attachments, but I really like these ones. They've got a little separator for the toe. I just thought they were really nice and simple. Um, easy to like, just slide your feet into. Easy to wear with anything, whether with jeans, with a dress, with a skirt, but they're also like quite subtle and pretty. And of course I've got them in black as well because when you've got things in two color, color waves, why not? Now onto the actual outfits. I was gonna talk through starting with my favorite, but there's so many of them that I like. So I think I just talk, talk through in the order that I tried them on. So the first one that I tried on was this two piece loungewear set. Um, ever since we hit lockdown, I've been loving loungewear sets, even to wear outside the house. I think it's really nice when you're working from home um, and you don't want to be in your pajamas and you don't want to be in a scruffy outfit, a loungewear set is really great because you don't really have to think about it. It's already a set. Um, you can find full sleeve ones, so they're easy to pray in when I'm at home, if I don't want to get changed out of like comfy wear into something else to pray in. Loungewear sets work, work perfectly for that. And they're also great just to throw on a jacket, throw on some sliders and like run to the shops in because I feel like they look presentable, whereas you can't really do that in your pajamas, well you could do it in your pajamas, but I just don't think it looks presentable. But this one I love because it was white. And I love this, I don't know if the camera's picking up, but it's got like this little ribbed effect on it, which I feel like really elevates it as a set and makes it look a lot more expensive than it is. Um, it's not actually, I don't know if, if it looks see-through on camera, it's not actually see-through. Um, a lot of the times I worry with trousers, especially white trousers, that when they arrive, you're gonna be able to see my legs through them, then I'm like, well, it's a bit pointless if that happens. This isn't see-through at all. And it's really lightweight, so I think this would be great in summer. I would actually, I don't have any holidays planned, I really wanna go on holiday. <laughs> if I go on holiday, this would be a perfect set to like wear, to travel in. I know people are always like, how do you wear white when you have kids? I'm like, I have a washing machine. Then you just stick it in the wash. Don't worry about getting white stuff dirty. It's white, it's gonna get dirty. Especially like if you're wearing a white white scarf, it's gonna get makeup on it. Or the neck of this is gonna get makeup on it. That's life, just stick it in the washing machine. Staying with the loungewear sets, I also got this one. Oh my God. <laughs> it's so lovely. Um, Obviously this wouldn't be suitable for hot weather, but let's be real, I mean it's 35 tomorrow, but it'll probably be like 13 again next week. Um, we are in the UK and this I think is perfect for this weather. I love the colour. It's like an off-white creamy colour. I'm sure you guys can see it's really, really, oh, I wish you guys could feel it. It's really, really soft and fluffy. Um, the trousers are a little bit long for me, but I am 5'2", so generally most things are, are too long for me, so I don't mind that's not an issue for me. Um, but again, I love that it's a set. You don't have to think about what you're going to wear with it. If I wanted to wear it out, I'd pair it with like a black pair of heels and a leather jacket or even a blazer. And it'd be like a really nice outfit um, to even wear out to dinner or something. Um, the trousers, again, are wide legs, so they're super comfy, super soft. Um, I probably won't wear this one around the boys because I don't really want to wash it because I'm worried that once I wash it, it won't be as soft. But it is, it's so lovely. 
I can't remember what I tried on next, but I think it was this one. This dress is so, so, so pretty. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know I love maxi dresses. And over the last year or so, I've been quite conscious of wearing shorter dresses because I'm never entirely sure what to style them with. I mean, I love this one and I was wearing it um, the other day when our friends came over. I just paired it with like some black leggings and it was absolutely fine. Um, but you could also wear it with wide trousers. After I wore it with the black leggings, I was like, oh, actually... I want to bring out the white and the pink in it so I paired it with um, white jeans but because the flowers are cream the white didn't look exactly right. I have got some cream wide leg trousers somewhere so I think that's what I'd pair this with and a cream scarf and it'd be really summery but if you are somebody who loves black hijabs I know a lot of you live in black hijabs I used to until I started wearing white and now I'm addicted to white um, but if you you love love wearing black you could easily pair it with black jeans wide black trousers black leggings and a black scarf it's a really really soft material as well so i think it's great for when we do have warm weather um stretchy up here so it's like not suffocating underneath your scarf and obviously full sleeves full coverage not see-through at all so it doesn't need any lining i just think this is a really really pretty lovely summer dress I also got this one. I absolutely love this one. I know it's not going to be everybody's um, taste or style. I just love this material. I don't know what it's called in English. I'm sure like when I was little, my mum used to take me to um, the Asian shops where she used to buy the loose material to sew the Asian clothes. They used to call this chicken. This like material with the, with the holes in it. And I don't even know why. I don't even know if that's what it's called in English. Um, but I love how this looks. Um, and I love how it feels. It's so, so comfy. You could even pair it with like blue jeans as well. I think it would look really, really nice in summer with blue jeans and like a straw bag and straw shoes. One thing that I will say, and I did try and film the back of um, the outfit, is that it's like this at the back. So it's tie up. So you do have to get somebody else to tie it up for you. Um, I'm sure you guys can see in the clip, but you can't actually see my back. So for me, it's not a problem. But I know for some people, they might not feel comfortable with having something that's kind of a tie back. Um, that could potentially come undone and expose you back. I mean, I always wear a vest underneath my outfits anyways, it's not an issue. Um, but yeah, I just thought I would say that because so many times I've seen something online, I'm like, oh God, it's so lovely. And then I order it and it comes and it's like backless and you're like, great. I think I tried this one on after. This I thought would be my most favorite. Um, and although it's a really, really pretty dress, for some reason it's really tight on the bust area. Um, and the neck is really, really low, so I have to be really careful to kind of cover that up. I mean, it's a really pretty dress. I don't think it needs, um, it's not see-through, so it doesn't need anything underneath. So it'd be great for this weather. And it's like a little poppy print. I just think it's a really pretty, delicate print, really feminine. Um, I love the arms. You've got the stretchiness there. But it was just, I mean, the low neck doesn't bother me too much. Like I said, I wear a vest underneath and I kind of put my scarf over the top to cover it. Um, but it was just slightly tight here um, and I'm not that big chested so I'm not sure why that happened. I got a size 10 um, but aside from that I love it. I think it looks really great on. Obviously it's, again it is a little bit long but again I'm 5'2 so I'm used to things being long on me. I think this is probably one of my favourite items ever. Look at it. Look at that print. This material is lovely. It, it is see-through, but when I'm wearing it, and it does come with a slip top, but I think the top is literally will just cover your bum. It's like not a full length top. But when I was wearing it, it didn't look see-through and I didn't actually wear the slip top underneath it. I was just wearing my, my vest in the video. And you guys can see for yourself that it does, you can't see through it. Love the arms. They've got a little bit of elastic there. So they're just really pretty. It's just a really delicate, pretty material. It's got this rose print. Um, and then I don't know if you guys can see but there's like a circling print on the material. I just think the colours are wonderful, really summery. It's really loose, like really, really loose. This is a size 10. I love dresses like this. I love dresses that are really loose. I know a lot of people are like, oh, it's too much, but I personally prefer them. I just think they're so comfy. And if you want to give it a bit of shape, just belt it up. I'll show you guys what it looks like with the belt as well. Um, but they're so easy to belt up, but I just, I love this. And I love the little frilling here at the bottom. It's got like three layers. This isn't floor length, which I don't mind because I think you can see like that much of my leg and I just wear leggings, but I wear leggings and dresses anyway, so it's not an issue. But if you are looking for something floor length, this isn't, is floor length the right word? Ankle length, ankle length. If you're looking for something ankle length, this isn't ankle length, but like I said, that doesn't bother me and I really, really love it and I love the frills at the bottom. And then the last one, I was really surprised at how much I love this. So I have like the silver grey one, which I really, really like. So I thought, why not get this colour? Because I wear this colour a lot. Um, 
but it's so flattering like it has this um panel here let me see if i can find the panel this panel here which kind of just sits across um the middle of your body but it's in a way that it makes you look slimmer which i absolutely love i love anything that just is gonna make me <laughs> it's gonna make me look slimmer without me having to do the hard work um there's so much material here it's so flowy it just feels really nice really soft when i wear it it looks really elegant i think this would make the perfect bridesmaid dress um they're really really affordable as well so if you are buying dresses for your bridesmaids they have them in other colors they've got it in like lilac purple like a hot pink uh, and they're constantly changing the colour, so I'm sure you'll be able to get one that goes with your colour scheme. But I think even this, if like you're a bride and you're going to be wearing red, red and gold, and your bridesmaids in this, I think it would look so nice. I am always trying to multitask. This is a problem. I've just sat down to edit the video, finished editing it, and realised I didn't even talk about this dress. So I showed you guys this dress at the, in the montage. Um, but this was the one that I was wearing whilst filming the video, and I didn't even talk you through it. I know the sleeves are short, and a lot of you probably want to wear long sleeves, but... I mean, when it's really hot weather, these. Right, that is the end of the haul. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Like I said at the beginning, you can use my code SEB55 for 55% off for the next 48 hours. After that, you can use code SEB51 um, if you want to get 55% off. I will leave the links to all of these items below. Hopefully, they're still in stock because I find what happens with Nice to Girl is things sell out so quickly. So if you like anything, make sure you click the link and go shop it. Um, and I hope you enjoy the rest of this vlog. So we're having a barbecue today. I did think the weather was going to be a lot nicer than it is. It was supposed to be really hot, but it's really cloudy. But it was one of our friends' birthday at the weekend, so we just thought it would be nice for everybody to get together. So for someone's just marinated the meat, we're probably just going to do like salad and potato salad and that's it. Um, just because I've been working all day and I just don't have loads of time <laughs> to prep loads of food. And I know everybody will just be happy with chicken and salad. Um, but I thought I would vlog it and show you guys what we get up to and all the free food prep and all of that. So... Yeah, I've just put the potatoes on to boil. These are baby potatoes, so they are. Just switched the thingy off by accident. These are baby potatoes, so they're perfect for the potato salad. I've just done one bag. I was tempted to do another one because I love um, potato salad, but that should be enough. I'm just gonna get, let them boil so that they go soft. So the potatoes are done now, but before I can make coleslaw, uh, coleslaw potato salad, I'm just going to go give you here his lunch. I've just mashed up a potato in there, put some beans in it as well. And um, knows that my mum, so he'll probably just eat there. So I've just picked up Noah from my mum's. Fazan's running to Sainsbury's because um, we didn't have a birthday cake for my friend, so he's going to get that. We need some coal for the barbecue. The weather is miserable. Like it's so warm, but it's so cloudy, and it looks like it's gonna rain. And I don't even know what we picked today to do a barbecue. What do you want? Come on. Little rice. Three eating. Yeah, put them on. Be careful, it's hot. But then, then what? Well, this... He's having an but apple because Yasmin had careful, an apple. Careful, now you can't get close. Hot, hot, da -da, da -da. Da -da. Hot, hot. What is it? It's, it's fire. It's actually turned into such a lovely day. The sky is like pretty much clear. Perfect day for a barbecue, isn't it, Nunu? No, no. And uh, <laughs> different types of chicken. Nothing. <laughs> no. No, it's good. Barbecue, the real barbecue is no, no, no marinated thing. You know that? What? Like this salt and purple, uh, salt. Classic, isn't it? Classic. Oi! He's an angry baby. Ganju. He's an angry baby. Since I cut his hair. Cans of comb on the brown table. Will you get them for me? Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Never, you're not having that. You're not. You already had some. You already had some, baby. Mummy, go get your book. Should we? Should we do your stickers here? Oh yeah, yeah. You're definitely not having it. Do you be? Oh, yeah. the skewers. Listen, sorry. Take yeah, them off, Baba. Yeah, let's just take them off. Let's get some veg on them, innit? Take them off. Let Yasmin take them off. I had wooden skewers. I could have bought them. Thank you, Dick. Watch out. Hey, super, move him, please. I don't want him to touch his mm -hmm. head. It's piping hot. Mushrooms. You like that one? What? She wants to do mushrooms. She doesn't want the mushrooms. She wants the tomato. Then do this one, purple. Do the one pepper. I want to do pepper. Yeah, you you have to look for you get cooked all together, and then you do one orange one. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Who's Adi song? You played it at your wedding. I was there. I remember. Should we play it? Yeah. Having fun, Ali. Yeah, it's fine. Right. These are cool. <laughs> Oh, she knows where to get the soft bits, isn't it? She leaves the hard bits here. Yeah? <laughs> so, yeah, here yeah, yeah, is a sleep right now, and me and Noah are going to play with all of Noah's new toys. Toys! Toys! Let's do this one. Can you show me where the moon goes? Um, where the moon? What number is it? Um, oh, away, away, king. Good boy. Quack, quack, quack. That's the duck. Quack, quack, quack. That's the duck. Uh, doesn't go goo 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 goes. Goo goo doo doo It's a hen. A cock call. Um, Good boy. Um, What's that? I can't see. Show me. <laughs> Show me. Sheep. What does a sheep do? Um, <laughs> 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 I look nearly as dead as I feel today. Um, I wasn't planning on vlogging today, but we're kind of having a little bit of a family day. So I just thought I'd pull the camera out and do a little, little extra vlog. So I vlogged a barbecue yesterday with our friends and then today... Uh, yeah, give me two minutes. Today we literally just went to Fazan's Mums for breakfast. Then I've been at home with the boys and now we are going to go do the food shop. Um, I just feel really drained. I feel really tired. Um, last night when we were at the barbecue, I logged onto Instagram and I saw this like huge... I saw the news of the... Uh, I was going to say the attack. It's not an attack. It's an explosion in Lebanon, in Beirut. Um, I'm saying it's an explosion. They don't actually know what it is yet. <coughs> But if you see the footage, there's so many different thing videos online. But if you see the footage after the blast, there's like this mushroom smoke cloud. And it literally looks like a nuclear explosion. And it really looks like something out of a movie. And I feel like over the last four or five months where my anxiety has been so high anyway because of everything that's been going on. And like after either, everybody was talking about like a second wave and a second lockdown and there's just so much going on in my head that doesn't feel real it doesn't feel normal then to see that and I'm like god this year it's been crazy and we've still got like four or five months left um I'm gonna put a link for, for a fundraising link for Lebanon in the description box I'm gonna find one a verified one for an organization that I know is is getting the money there on the ground and helping people because um I'm sure most of you follow life for long percussion, Habiba, but she's half Lebanese and she... 
post up on her story saying it's really hard to get money into the country. So if you're donating, make sure that whoever you're donating to, you know the money's going to get there. And she put up some links, so I'll just share those again. Because I think that's that's really important as well, that like, it's so sad that people do take advantage of these situations um, because they know so many people want to help. Um, so if we are helping, it's it's important that we're sending our money to the right right places. But yeah, off to do the food shop, so I will I will vlog that. Yeah. No, no, not both of them. One. One. Choose one. Who's is that? I said one, didn't I? So both the boys are in bed, so I'm having a quick lunch, just chips and a burger because we were out, so it's just easy to grab them. I'm watching a little bit of Umbrella Academy before they wake up. I think my cousins are going to come over in a bit as well. So I've done a little snack basket for the kids. I bought loads of snacks for them and I just thought it's easier if it's in here, then at least they could just access it and they'd have to annoy their mum to be like, oh, can I have this or can I have that? So we've got them some crisps, some party rings, animals, some Jeffa cakes, some other cakes and some drinks. It's like that. And then just, it's there, it's nice and easy. They could just grab whatever they want. Be my vlog again. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, So as the weather is gonna be really hot this weekend, I thought I would share a couple of recipes with you. Just a couple of salads, because I feel like salad is really filling and can be so delicious. And I feel like people have this misconception that a uh, yuck salad. Um, I did wanna make three, but we haven't been, been able to get all the ingredients for the third one, so we're only gonna do two. Um, it's just a nice, quick, easy lunch, especially in this hot weather. <laughs>
Say, baby, I'm.